the 500 just um, didn't work out at, at all like um, being a top seed and like wanting to win that race and placing 30th something and not making it back like it's a big upset but uh, right after that race it was just like stop thinking about it um, and focus on the next race on the 200 um, yeah and the 200 didn't work out much better than the 500 <laughs> um, but then there are no excuses. The meet is going on. Um, the mile is still going. My teammates are still racing. Um, and then, like, I think it just shows what a great team we are with um, all the teammates I have. I mean, after that 500, um, I had gotten so many text messages as probably never before, just saying heads up. Uh, we believe in you. We know what you can do. And um, I mean, it even shows like how close we are when you get even more texts when you have a bad swim than when you have a good swim. Um, and then, like this, not having a not having afternoon swims and um, not have to swim this morning was huge for me. I could really like refocus and um, reset my mind and being fully focused on this mile and um, that's what I did. Um, I mean, I was really lucky that it's the time to final so I was swimming in the afternoon um, and all of those guys were able to win this heat so it, I knew that when I stay with the pack um, it's just mentally challenging after that week, but I think the coaching staff and the team did a really good job bringing it back here on the last day. I mean, we put so much work in this year. Um, it, I think that was the best year of practice I ever had, and then I go 418 in the 500. I mean, I started crying after the race because I was just like, how did that happen? I put all that work in, and now I don't make the final. Um, I don't know what, the, like, there were like, hundreds of things which went through my head and it was so hard to go through this meet but I'm just really glad I could reset my mind with help of the coaches and the teammates and um, I think it was great that everybody was there for me even though it wasn't going well um, yeah I, I still can't believe that I was able to refocus again and go get ready for that mile but um, yeah I'm really happy about that. We did like a 1500, just like loosen up, do some low aerobic. Um, we did the same thing yesterday, just... Um, I think like in taper it's always great when you have like, you go low aerobic and you pop like times, you just always go like when you do a hard aerobic and it just like gave me my confidence back, especially yesterday. We did like six ones and one of five and I was just going times I would normally go during threshold in low aerobic, so that really made me like being confident that I'm there where I should be for this race today. It was, it was tricky because that field is so fast and I knew a lot of guys go out really, really hard. So I stick with my strategy I always used to. Um, take it easy the first 300, build up to pace and then be with the field and then go harder, harder and harder. Um, and I think it really worked out today. I mean, my freshman year got second. I wanted, re I really wanted to win last year. I got second twice, um, and then I thought like this year, I really, really want to win. I put in that work, and I um, shout out to the distance group we have at Michigan. I think Ricardo, Will, all the other guys are definitely like 50% of that win. Without those guys, it wouldn't be possible. And um, yeah, winning that race today was. I, I just like especially after the first days it was just like I think it was the biggest turnaround I ever had in a swim meet.